We won't be doing any rocket science today. Sorry, folks. I want to illustrate one point today. I'm going to start writing some calculations, and I want you guys, as soon as you see what I'm writing, start calculating. All right? Don't, don't wait. Go right away. All right, how many of you still working? Stop. What's the answer? The answer is zero. There's a time zero at the end. Why am I doing this? I know you guys know that any number times zero is zero, so that's not the point of this problem. The point was, and I misled you on purpose, and I wanted you guys to start working on this problem. In practice, whenever you see a problem, you never want to start working on it. You want to start scanning it. So that means you don't jump in and start doing calculations. You first assess the entire problem and notice, well, there's a zero, so we have to do no work. So in other words, I want you guys to be lazy. Do not start doing work just because you can. Now, I don't mean lazy in a bad way. I mean lazy in a good way, in the sense of being efficient. So just like there's the old warrior and the young warrior and the Young warriors want to jump into a fight and the old warriors assess the situation first and lift to fight another day. You want to be like the older warriors, see what's going on before you start doing something. Now remember, your brain really wants to do something. What shape is this? If you set a circle, it's not a circle, right? It's incomplete. But your brain completes the circle for you. So your brain is like a hungry animal that wants to chew on stuff. So as soon as you see numbers, a lot of people say, I know how to do that. Let's start working on it. So you have to learn to resist that initial knee jerk reaction and become a little more calm and assess the whole problem. So you want to be lazy, but in a good way. So scan everything. Okay. I'll leave it there. Now in the next video, we're going to talk about another very important technique called simplification.